peace family more truth than you can handle yo driving back early morning from LA <laughs> excuse the the morning look but I gotta get something off my chest regarding this uh, uh, American terrorist another terrorist attack on American soil by an American or Americans. Of course, everyone knows it was at the Country Music Festival in Vegas. 59 folks killed from the last time I heard. About 200 some injured. Of course, there's a lot of confusion. And we have our Facebook detectives our social media investigators, everybody's chiming in, the, in, the uh, Twitter conspiracy uh, theory strategists. Uh, we all chiming in, and it's all great. What I do know is people died. I don't know how fake that could be. People died. You know, I heard the shots as it went live, my, me and my daughter, and shit didn't look fake to me. But, you know, we could argue on that. But one thing we can say, someone died, don't know who did it. If it's the white guy they want to pin it on. All right. But at the same particular time, with all those folks getting injured and killed, of course, a dumb man, you know, and a really, really dumb man. And we got a lot of dumb folks out there can know and already say from whatever the media reports that it was more than one person shooting. Yes, he had a rapid fire weapon, but he needed a, a, a second hand in that. So whatever comes out of it, comes out of it. It's um, very unfortunate that we continue to have these things happen in American soil and we worry about terrorist attacks everywhere else. We uh, spend so much time trying to create borders or create these things that won't allow terrorists in our country, right? But we have terrorists right here in America. We've been having it. I've always said them. You know, America houses and births some of the biggest terrorists in the world. America is is found on terrorism. You know, they terrorize the indigenous people. They terrorize African American. And they've terrorized anyone who gets in their way for total world domination. So let's not get it twisted for those who want to sit there and break down what terrorism is. It's political gain. I don't give a shit about none of that stuff. If you are terrorizing a person, you are a terrorist. Right? I can make terrorist um, calls and, and, and be cut labeled a terrorist because I may threaten someone. You know? So Whatever on that end but the reality is of course there's more to the story it always is more to the story I don't know what is my whole thing is not to discuss that I'm not even really worried about that not even really worried about the whole thing because it is what it is I am just confused why so many black folk have put so much energy in this shit I ain't gonna lie when I heard it went down I was hoping praying that it wasn't no black gunmen and now that we kind of realize that there probably is two gunmen so who knows who the other guy is I'm not gonna try to break down what could or what should but I will break down this if black folks paid more attention to the things that we need to deal with or we need to focus on we would be in a better place and not in this predicament whenever there's incidents like that that are so utilized to get us out of focus move us away from issues at hand I mean we were just got done dealing with this whole Donald Trump this whole flag thing this whole national anthem thing now we're focused on this we still got to focus on the agenda at hand <laughs> you got folks out here really making it uneasy for black folk we got black folk dying every day whether it be by the hands of the oppressor the henchmen or ourselves and black folks is trying to play Scooby Dooby Doo with this shooting. And this is not 
saying F the victims. I don't I don't I don't believe in death for nobody. White, black, indifferent, whatever. I don't speak that. I speak life, love. But I speak truth at the same time. Some people think my truth is hate, but how can it be hate when it's truth and and how can it be hate when here's this reality? I mean, this is the reality we live in. So my focus won't be that. I'm gonna let y'all do that. My focus is on the build. My focus is on the destruction of the black community. My, 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 my focus is on building the black community, solving these issues. My, my focus is on not begging others to do what we need to do. So chiming in on what's what, who's who, what is, Donald Trump created this man. Let's 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 worry about what we got to do to clean up our own. Let's focus on that. <laughs> let's build in that, and not fall into the hour of chaos and get sidetracked to try to debate, um, give our ideas, use our detective skills to solve this thing when there's a lot of of people upset with America and how America rolls and what America does not only black folk we just tend to kind of go with the punches and kind of roll with it where I always think that that's the worst thing we could ever do we don't need to roll with the punches what we need to do is get to punching fighting back figuring out a game plan so with all that being said as unfortunate as these events in Vegas are, have been, of course there's more behind just a particular story. I'm going to tell my black people, that's the last damn thing that we need to be worried about. The last damn thing we need to be focused on. Because folks ain't give a, a half a damn when black lives are being dropped left and right. They don't give two shits about what's going on in Chicago. <laughs> they don't give a two shits about, you know, what's really going on in areas like Sacramento that they don't talk about as much nationally. Stockton, you know, things that are going on in L.A., New York. I mean, violence in America. I mean, New Orleans, <laughs> right? They don't give two shits. So why are we focused on trying to solve an issue that we can't solve when I know an issue we can solve if we put our minds together and unite and get busy is our issues the black issue let's create that black agenda let's format something that can be a global agenda for the black community let's use all brain power our energy our might our influence to do that not make it a bunch of posts videos breaking down what happened when we still trying to figure out what happened to the young girl who was found dead in the freezer in Chicago and that's one young woman we can't even figure out who did anything to her they trying to make it seem like she just walked in the freezer and that was it come on y'all let, let. we get so sidetracked and so focused on even when it's not about us on white folk issues I'm focusing on black issues Ain't no disrespect But it's just a reality Focus on ours Don't get sidetracked Don't position yourself To um, Be a private investigator And, if, and some of y'all good I'm trying to figure out Why some of y'all didn't go to school for this shit like, <laughs> Some of y'all should have been You know FBI agents The way y'all Be moving and grooving And putting shit together Right Facts is people die. Another fact that it could not just be one person shooting. Another fact, media lies. So, with every lie that's being told, there's somewhat a little bit of truth in it. But here's the truth. From a black perspective, Negro, stop worrying about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. At all. Let's focus on what we need to focus on. That's the build. 
Let's focus on recreating what was took in and destroyed. That's what we need to do. Bottom line. Stop worrying about Donald Trump and that punk. Stop worrying about Negroes that are not on the, 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 the winning team to make shit happen. Let's just get it done. So that's my voice. And that's my attitude to the whole thing. Reported on it at one time, spoke on it. Now I'm going to let that go and let everything else fall into place because at the end of the day, we still have one of the biggest terrorist minds. I ain't saying he's a terrorist, but we got one of the biggest terrorist minds sitting in the Oval Office. Call it what you want. A guy that's creating a lot of negative energy and won't let out. I mean, you heard what he said. He doesn't want to call this guy a domestic terrorist. He wants to sit there and say the acts of what happened was pure evil. Yet and still, with Charlottesville went down, he ain't call that act pure evil, right? He ain't say nothing. He said there were some good guys on one side and good guys on the other side. Both people had something to do and blame with Charlottesville. So guess what? Who gives two fucks about what's going on now? Ain't our business. Let's move and let's navigate. Let's build family. More truth than you can handle.